Hi, in this learning bite for Windows Small Business Server 2011 standard, we're going to take a look at managing the computers in your environment. So to get started, we're here in the SBS console and we're going to go to the Network tab. Now this tab will show you all of the servers and computers in the environment. So not only can you manage the SBS server itself, but also each individual client computer, getting an idea of their security status, update status, and general health. So let's take a closer look at the server where we can see we have an update status warning. In the tasks pane on the right, we can see that we have some server tasks as well as some general computer tasks. Under the server tasks, we can go ahead and view the server's properties. This information is presented in a couple of different sections, starting with just some general information about the computer itself, its operating system, its hardware, as well as more detailed information about its update status. So here we can see that we've downloaded quite a few updates that we need to apply to the computer. And we'll take a look at managing updates in a future Learning Byte video. We can also do the same for individual client computers as well as a few other tasks. So as we can see, once we've highlighted a client PC, we can not only view its properties, but as an administrator, we can offer remote assistance to the user. We can also connect to the computer using remote desktop service, which would give us a session on the computer as if we were sitting in front of it and using it directly. We can also remove the computer from the SBS environment. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the computer properties. Like the server, we can see some general information, including the computer's name and description, the operating system that it's running, and of course, its hardware. But we also have user access properties. And with this, we can assign users to have various levels of access to the computer. As an example, for Jeff Phillips, he's a local administrator on his PC, which he has manually joined to the SBS network using the Connect Computer Wizard. But perhaps we don't want Jeff to be a local administrator. In previous versions of SBS, uh, such as SBS 2003, all users were local administrators on their PCs. But we can choose to make users in the SBS 2011 environment be standard users on their local PCs. This can give a greater degree of security, especially when you have shared computers in an environment. You're also able to decide if a user can log on remotely to this computer through the remote web access portal. So that can be either unchecked to deny access or checked to allow the computer to connect to the computer from virtually anywhere, anytime over the internet. We can also do the same for other users in the environment. We can see that as a local administrator, Roland Winkler has local administrator access and is always allowed to remotely connect to the computer and you're not allowed to modify those settings. We can also see for individual client PCs their update status as well. So here we can see that we're not missing any updates, but we haven't installed any updates either. As we continue to use the SBS environment, this information will be updated as appropriate from the Windows Server Update Services that is integrated into the SBS environment. So thank you for joining me for this Learning Byte and I hope to see you for future Learning Byte sessions.